Hello again, and welcome to this afternoon taste challenge. And it's going to count for a future date. Could I do a taste challenge on that future date? I could. But I am thinking it's probably going to be a bummer that day, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, preemptively. There's 31 days in July, and I intend to do 31 taste challenges for July. Even though this is June, it's going for one of the July days. Okay, I got all of June covered. I've only got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday left to do, and then it's done. <clears throat> the 28th, 29th, and 30th. Uh, in other words, here's Grant's blended Scotch whiskey, no age statement. Although I think on the website, they were somewhere, I don't know, some video they made, they were saying it was like, I'm not going to say the years because I'm going to get it wrong, but uh, where there is no official age statement. Established in 1887. So this product was introduced in 1887. And it is distilled, matured, and blended in Scotland. This is called the Triple Wood, formerly known as the Family Reserve. But I, my bottle says trip, uh, Family Reserve. I got mine before they changed the name of it. The Family Reserve, or Triple Wood now it's called, has been crafted for five generations to create a rich and complex Scotch whiskey with depth and character. So it's bottled in Scotland. Unlike the 100, the 100 Pipers, which is bottled in Kentucky, um, and it's got a crest showing two men carrying bats with some other weird symbols on this shield. And the motto is stand fast, Glen Fittich, stand fast. Glen Fittich, stand fast. Because they make single malt Glen Fittich whiskey, which they use in the blended whiskey. Okay. You again, says Ronnie. I know you wouldn't get offended if somebody put your face in the wheel. No. Okay. I will get offended if they did not put my face in it. Hello again, says the aviation. Hello to you. If they didn't, if they refused to do it, I'd say, what am I, a mirage? What do you got me on the pay no mind list, kid? Five generations of whiskey making. Yay. Now the competitor. Doers age 18 years. The vintage introduced in 2003, produced in Scotland by Bacardi Limited, the owners of Doers these days could change tomorrow. You know how that goes. Stone gets bought out by Sapporo. Uh, American Motors gets bought out by Chrysler and uh, so forth. Um, produced in Scotland under a royal warrant of Queen Elizabeth II as an official Scotch whiskey company of the royal family. I don't know if they're sitting around drinking Dewar's 18 year age, maybe Dewar's 180 years age. But uh, yeah, so the royal family of Scotland, Wales, Guernsey Island, the Isle of Man, New Zealand, the Cook Islands, Tuvalu, Papua New Guinea, Jamaica, Montserrat, Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, the Cayman Islands, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia, Grenada, Tristan da Cunha, Pitcairn Islands, St. Helena, Ascension Island, the Falkland Islands, Belize, Australia, Norfolk, uh, Norfolk Island, Christmas Island, Cocos, in, or also known as Keeling Island, the British Indian Ocean Territory, the British territories in Cyprus, Gibraltar, and other realms around the world. Now that's a little darker, and the Grants is a good deal lighter. It's more gold. This is more amber. Okay. Ronnie S. says, you don't want to be on the pay no mind list, kid. Greg Kleenis says, at the factory here in Edison, New Jersey, they show Clan McGregor alongside Grants. Oh, yeah. That's right. Because Well, Clan McGregor is bottled in 
Edison, New Jersey. And Clan McGregor is a brand owned by Grants. The Aviation says, I wonder how much pressure the kids of the five generations of whiskey making are under to continue the tradition. I don't know. I was posting an alcohol leg starting today about Ernest and Julio Gallo company. And I showed a photo of Ernest and Julio Gallo, the two brothers. But they died because they were very, well, one got killed in a Jeep accident. Literally, he was driving the Jeep and he wrecked, but um, on his property. And the other one died of old age in his 90s. Um, but now they have this huge family of inheritors, the great grandkids, I guess. And you, you always wonder what's going to happen to this family owned company if they start arguing. You know what's going to happen. It's going to get bought, <laughs> bought out. E&J Gallo is probably one of the biggest wine companies in the world. Maybe it is the biggest wine company in the world. I really don't know. Really couldn't tell you. But they're big, boy. This smells kind of basic. This smells even more basic. Let's go into taste because it's a taste challenge after all. I've never been to the Kingdom of Scotland, but my daughter's been. She liked it. She went to the Kingdom of Belgium, Kingdom of the Netherlands, Kingdom of England. I guess she goes to lots of kingdoms. All right. Got lots of buffers. All right. Grants, you can get a handle for $26. All right. This huge bottle for $26. You might get it cheaper than that. This huge bottle for $26. Do, uh, doers age 18, you're going to get a regular size bottle. It's going to cost you 68 bucks. A regular size bottle of Grants might only cost you $15. You really think doers age, 18 year age, 18, I'm sorry, age 18 years, the vintage is $53 better. We're about to find out. I'm not too sure about that. Vanilla, some grain alcohol, meaning like, you know, to smell like you know, you can take a cotton ball and you put the alcohol on it and say, let me put that on this scratch. Um, deeper, richer flavor over here. This is the doers. That is the doers. I got it right. Now, I'm very happy I got it right. Bigger question, is it really worth $55 more? Um, um, the triple wood, formerly known as the family reserve, it is pretty woody now. It's like, it's kind of like what you like. If you like that sort of intense wood note, I mean, it's strong oak, and it's three types of wood, and I put the link below, and you can read it on the website. But it, it's it, it, it's not intense in the cereal grain. It's not intense in the barley. It's not intense in no no peat or smoke, but either one of these, you can just rule that out. If anybody's telling you they taste peat and smoke, I don't know what they're talking about. I think they're imagining it. Uh so you get that intensities in 10 cities. But this over here 
is more intense in the just general flavor, the depth of flavor, the deep honey, the deep bread dough, the deep bread crust, the de deep, um, just almost like a tunnel of flavor. Um, still, that being said, $53, I can't really line up with that. I, I can't really adopt that position. But I'll say it's your money, buy it if you want. I mean, if you can find a hand, a, hand, uh, a handle, you might be able to. But if you can find a little mini bottle and you want to try a couple of them, I mean, I only pay $2.99. You get 10 of these. It's only $29.91. Uh, so plus tax. So, you know, $30, you get 10 of them. Get 50 milliliters. That'll give you enough to play around with. Um, oh, I suppose that's worth it. But you're not going to, that's the only, that's the one little problem. You're not going to find it for $2.99 a bottle. I got it for some great deal. And if you ask me, it was mispriced. But I don't uh, go and tell stores what to do. Um you're probably going to pay more like $3.99 a bottle. Then that gets a little dicey. Like, wait a minute. Hold on, Jack. And I understand that attitude because I I share that attitude. Oh, so final assessment. I could tell them apart. Wasn't too difficult, really. But I'm not too sure I would pay. I, I, I know I would not pay the extra $53 a bottle. I would not do it. So now that brings us to the end of scotch for the time being for a few months. It actually brings us to the end of whiskey of any type for a few months. So tomorrow we start at dawn. Get ready. We're starting with brandy, which is distilled grape wine. Oh, although you can make apple brandy. You don't have to use grapes. You can make brandy out of any sort of wine, really, theoretically, cherry wine, plum wine. Uh, have I ever tried any of those other variants of brandy? No, I haven't. But I like to try apple brandy, oh, as it's known as apple jack. I would like to try it. It's just a matter of getting around to it. Uh, but I've been pleased, mostly pleased with the great brandy. And so we're going to run with that. And then when that's over with, we're going to go into rum, rum, white rum, clear rum. Then we're going to run along with um, tequila, and it'll be white clear tequila again, because I bought some and I got a price that you will not believe. You will think I'm lying and I'm not. Um, but I'm, I'm curious about this product. Very curious. You curious? I'm curious. The man is clear in his mind, but his soul is mad. He hates all this. He hates it. But the man's, uh, he reads poetry out loud in a voice, a voice. He likes you because he's still alive. No, but um, then we're going to go to Mezcal. Then we'll be back to whiskey and it'll be rye whiskey. All right. Now, last, last comments. How aged do you think the Grants is? Um... I think I remember them on the website somewhere. I, it was somewhere hidden, like almost like frequently asked questions or something. I don't know. I couldn't find it just now. Or it could have been a YouTube video that the company made. But it's something like four to six years, I think, like four to six years. So about five year age, not you know really too long. But um, how age do you? Yeah. Do you have a Mets shirt on? Mets. I got the Chicago Cubs. It's probably worth formerly known as the Chicago Orphans, right? And, and originally the Chicago White Stockings. It's probably worth the $55 more if you only buy it occasionally and no other whiskey. Yeah, if you're just buying this and that everywhere, every day, every week, uh, it could get a little, get a little crazy. All right, uh, so thank you, doers for the very interesting taste challenges with the 15 year age and the age 18 years. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, thank you, Grant. I got a long way to go and a long time to get there. 
we're going to do what they say can well, probably be done. I got over half this bottle left. Thanks for watching this video production, and we'll be back tomorrow morning, God willing, with Brandy.